Okay, you guys, so I thought I'd take this time to show you um, what we bring with us on our quick mini vacations because we do this a lot. Um, this is only probably either a one to two night stay. Um, so at most it would be two days, two nights. So I wanted to show you what we bring with us um, for the baby. So here you see two diaper bags. Um, this is his regular diaper bag here, and this is his um, diaper bag that we use just for diapers. Um, someone gave this to us. It's just a regular Graco diaper bag, and we bring this with us for his diapers because we cloth diaper, and there'd be no way we would be able to put everything in that. Excuse me. So in this diaper, minus um, one pre-fold and... Um, two bum genius diapers because I changed him on the ride and I just changed him again now. So besides uh, minus two bum genius and one prefold, this is what we bring with us. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four bum genius diapers. Um, two are the free time diapers. I think this one and this one. And then two 4.0s. So four Bum Genius. Um, one extra Green Mountain Orange. Egg. He's grown out of these, but I use this as an extra insert in case I need to double up for the nighttime. One Tot Spots fitted with a cover. And then I have one, two, three, um, Four small workhorses and a sleepy little maverick. Okay, so also I have two um, thirsties fitted, and then here I have um, one flip diaper that already has an insert, and then two extra inserts right here. And I also have two more bummies. Pre -folds. Usually he sleeps in just one pre-fold per night, so this would just all be basically for the daytime, so um, for two days, so I think he, he's fine with that. Also on the side, I just have his, his baby soap and an extra washcloth. I don't think I have anything in the front pocket. Over here I have an extra um, burp cloth. This is just a small wet bag, and then I just hang it on the back of a door. Um, this is a Fuzzy Buns one, and it just opens up here, and I bring this just to hold some of his dirty diapers in it. And then nothing in the back. This isn't usually what I use. This is only for when we go away. Okay, so in this diaper bag, um, starting with this outside pocket, this is our regular diaper bag, and this is just a... Um, a Fisher Price diaper bag. I got it off of eBay and I liked it because it's just kind of like rugged in my style. I am not a super fancy girl. Like for instance, this is the purse that I'm using. So that can kind of tell you what kind of girl I am. So I like this as a diaper bag. Honestly, usually when I'm just out, I use that as my diaper bag. <clears throat> But when we have to pack up a little bit more, then I go to this. In this front little pocket that is labeled with like a little binky, I think I just have some Purell. Yeah, just some Purell in the front pockets. Um, then you open up, and while we're on long um, outings, I usually just use disposable wipes. And I like this because you just pop the little thing in there and you don't even have to take it out. Just, you can get your wipes right through there. Um, then I don't think I have anything in No, I don't. But this is um, when we are just out for a little while. This is where I put his dirty diapers. Just I just stick them in there. And then when I get home, I take them out. In the side pockets, I don't think there's anything in there right now. But I usually keep a bottle. And then this has the heater, the insulated stuff. So if I needed to keep a warm bottle in there. And if any of you guys know, I um, breastfeed. But I, he also has to have some supplement bottles. Um because of the fact that he was um, pre born a little bit premature and he was not allowed to breastfeed until he was 10 days old. So he does breastfeed, he just has some issues with it and wasn't gaining enough weight. So I do some supplemental bottles during the day. So inside. Um, 
This is what we bring as far as clothing. Um, he just has a little toy. He's just starting to grab things now, so he doesn't really play with toys yet, but I bring them anyway. Okay, in this bag, I have one outfit, pair of pants, shirt. Second outfit, shirt, pair of pants. And then a third outfit, shirt, and a pair of pants. He is a dirty boy. I'm telling you, this kid is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. So I'm always changing him. So keep that in mind when I tell you I have one, two, three, four, five onesies. Because he is just dirty. So I'm constantly changing him. This is also an extra outfit. He was supposed to wear this on the way here, but he fell asleep in the car seat and he just wore a onesie. So that's an extra. I have two pairs of pajamas, two gowns, but he has um, one on because I just changed him. So here's another one. So we had two gowns. Then I also have um, a light, airy little blanket. These are the muslin blankets by <clears throat> Aiden by Aiden and Anais and I love these. I have eight of them. These are awesome because when I don't bring my nursing covers I just use these and they open they open up really 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 big. So these are like perfect because I can just throw them over me like this. Nice and airy. He loves the design and then I just nurse them. Also I use this for a light cover too. So I have two hats in case it gets chilly. My nursing cover Back in this back pocket, I have extra binkies. In case we lose some binkies, there's this one that my husband bought here, and then the other one that we had from the hospital. He can't even suck on this anymore. This is what he used at the hospital, and it is just way too small for his little mouth. But I bring them just in case, because you never know if he loses his binky, and we have to have some um, back on. Back here, I just keep this little soap that I got at a little German store. It's like baby soap, all natural and stuff, and it... Um, it just smells really good, and I like to keep it in there to keep his <clears throat> diaper bag smelling good. Or Purell, and then my Eos, because I have to have chapstick on at all times. I cannot have dry lips. It drives me insane. And then a pair of socks down there. Then in this back pocket, I have, ex I have three of these bibs, but they look like um, bandanas. You tie them around. Him like this, he wears them all the time. I use them for um, like little burp bibs because he slobbers, especially now that he's teething. So I brought three of them. Some extra burp rags, extra washcloths, a little bib, um, nursing pads that I've kept in there forever. And then this is his um, hospital book that we have to bring with us to every doctor's appointment. It's like, you know, what they keep all of his his uh, records in and everything. And so this never comes out of his diaper bag. And then in the back, I just have extra stuff, some extra saline solution. For my, this is just stuff I threw in here in the bag. Pin for laundry, if I have stains, whatever. In Germany, you have to um, put money in all of your carts that you use for shopping. You have to put a euro in. So this is, that's a picture of Zoe. My oldest you daughter. just use this, you put this in, you're supposed to put it on your keychain, you put it in, and then you just take it out when you do it so you don't have to put in any money. And then just some extra booties. So honestly, this back pocket is just shoved full of junk. Okay, so also two other things that I wanted to show you that I had in my bag. Um, this is Everett's um, sleep sack. He sleeps in this every night. I just have to put this on him now. It unzips all the way around and opens up like a book. And then I put it in, I button it up in the top. And um, he sleeps in it instead of having to have any blankets on him. And then I brought the Ergo. He's sleeping right here, right next to us. And I also brought two extra blankets, but he won't use one. He won't need one now that he has um, his uh, sleep sack. So yeah. that is what I bring with us when we go on a trip for um, a day and a half and two nights. I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.